Welcome to the Rain or Shine podcast, where we talk about all things PRF. My name is Ross Bronson, and I'm the Ag Risk Consultant with Red Summit Advisors. And today I want to talk to you about grids and intervals. And if you have talked to anyone about a PRF policy, then it's highly likely you've heard them talk about grids and intervals. And so I want to define those a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the grids. So the grids are 13 by 17 mile sections of the country that the USDA uses to help define landscape and divide it up. As you can see in this graphic, it can really vary from one place to another how that affects your policy. Usually it dictates different soil types, it can dictate different precipitation, and those grids are an important part of where to allocate your coverage. So some landscapes, some rangelands, especially when you were talking large federal leases, cover multiple grids, and we can use a quality software to identify which one of those grids is either higher risk or maybe provides higher indemnities on average. And so the, the defining which grid to place your coverage is, in is a very important part of allocating coverage. The next thing I wanna talk about is intervals, okay? So the intervals are two month periods throughout the year. So January, February, February, March, March, April. And what those do is they help us define what part of the year we're placing your coverage. So you can have January, February, and you can have March, April, but there's no double dipping in the same grid. So you can't have January, February, February, March uh, covered in the same grid. But the intervals are interesting because this is basically where we start looking at precipitation trends, right? When does your precipitation get more volatile? And a lot of people think that what you wanna cover is when the rain's most important to you but that can be some of your most stable rainfall. Really what the software is going to try and identify is times when maybe your precipitation is most volatile and it can help identify those things. So kind of grids are where the coverage is placed in the landscape. Intervals are what time of year you're covering the actual precipitation. And so we can use that to create uh, maybe a higher net policy that, that maximizes your indemnities or maybe a more conservative policy that minimizes your premiums. And, and if you wanna learn more about that, there is a video available uh, that you can use and reference to go more in depth on that. But this is really where you'll see the biggest differences in quotes from different insurance agents, right? So depending on how you allocate that coverage, can change your premium and your potential indemnities. So a lot of people mistakenly think that different agencies can give them better premium amounts, but that's not true on a per acre basis. The premium per acre for the same coverage will be the same across uh, different insurance agents and companies. What, what the biggest difference is, is the allocation of the coverage and how that affects things. So. There's kind of two ways that you can do this, right? You can find someone with a, a quality software that can really analyze the data and the software can help you place coverage. Or we do still find people who have gone through an agent that maybe doesn't have access to some quality software. And what that agent has done to the best of their ability is, is spread coverage across the year. And that, as you can see from this graphic, that just isn't as beneficial to you as a producer in your policy. You start missing out. You can see on that, on that bottom line where that's even coverage, you're placing coverage in intervals where there's historically higher than average precipitation. And by allocating coverage in a more strategic way, you can better allocate your coverage to where it will either increase your indemnities or maybe decrease your premium depending on the risk tolerance of you and the different intervals and grids that we place coverage in. So that's how they're, they're actually a very integral part in the creation of your policy. And so make sure that you're talking to someone who uses a software that can really help analyze data. Red Summit Advisors uses that. Uh, you're welcome to talk to us. But even if you choose to go through a different agency, just make sure that They've got quality software that can help allocate your coverage using data.